I thought that was so cool. That was the first time I did that. But I was like, oh, this is organized now. Hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> what? Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna and if you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you do so. My content is based on fashion styling, business tips, as well as mindset shifts that are heavily based through my face so that you guys can get started today. If you know of anybody that you feel this content will resonate with or help them in any way, make sure that you share this and tell them to subscribe as well. I wanted to do a quick video on why it's important to keep receipts. <laughs> I got someone that left a comment and wanted me to do a quick video on this and I said, you know what? I think it would be good to do that and I'll tell you why because people don't realize how important it is to keep receipts or have some type of platform that you can use to upload that information when it comes to styling. Here are a few tips on why you need to keep your receipts or use some type of platform that you can upload them to to keep organized. So the number one tip, it literally helps you stay on track with budgeting. So for example, say you had a job and it was $2,000 worth of clothes that you had to purchase and you're doing shopping here, you're doing shopping there and you don't even know how much you spent. Now I know that that may seem like a very like common thing to know, but it's not. And I understand that because when you're shopping for yourself, what do you do? Sometimes you throw the receipt away. Like that's not, not normal. Um, I mean, especially in the, it's just not, not normal. So I understand why some people would have a hard time keeping track of the budget for that reason. So that is why you want to keep your receipts. One reason. So keeping your receipts when you go to one store, for example, literally I'll get a receipt after I purchase it and I'll have in my phone, like we said, $2,000, right? $2,000 of the budget. I just went to the store and I bought something. It was $195, $195, boom. Now I know what I have. And I also have that receipt. Maybe, well, I'll tell you guys how to organize the, the actual receipts once you get them. But this is a part of keeping track of the budget is keeping your receipts. Another reason why it's important to keep them is because when you're closing a job, oh my gosh, it will be so much easier and run so much smoother when you're closing out a job. If you know exactly where those receipts are, you were already keeping track when you were going shopping with how much you were spending and you literally can just hand that over or scan it, keep it for your reference or give it to the client and I'll talk about ways on how you can organize it when you're closing a job as well. But that is so helpful when you have your receipts organized and you're able to close a job. Now, not only does it help you when you're keeping track of these receipts, which not just help you, you need to be doing, but it also really helps your client because they can really see exactly where they've made their purchases from. They can see how much they spent. Maybe they need it for their books, whatever it may be. It will be so much smoother and it shows how professional and polished you are in your business when you are able to hand over your receipts and show them where you went shopping, how much you spent, and what they have left. Sometimes you'll have something left and you'll know exactly how much you need to reimburse or return to the client. And you're not like, oh my God, I spent this money and I don't know where it is, or how am I gonna give this money back to the client and it's gone. Like It helps you just stay on track and it helps the client understand their budget and how much they've spent as well. Now let's talk about ways that you can actually organize your receipts. And I did do a little bit on this on the last job um, that I did. It was like a day in the life. I'll drop it somewhere above and I'll also put it below on how I closed out that job. It was kind of like a vlog, um, the day in the life of a stylist. And what I did in that video was, because it was a really quick job and it wasn't like a big project, I'll tell you the difference, but because it wasn't like a big project like that, I literally just took the receipts, taped them to a piece of paper, and then took 
scan copies to give the client. So initially, as I was going shopping, I kept all the receipts together. Now you can keep them in a folder, you can keep them in a pocket, um, in a purse or a bag that you have while you're shopping. But I kept them all together in that way before I taped them, just in case I had to do some type of returns. And when you do a return, you know you need a receipt. Or if you need to do an exchange, you need to have the receipt. So there were times in that job where I had to exchange for a different size or return or swap something out and I needed it so I didn't want to tape it just yet. But after the job, after I did the actual job, the photo shoot, I took those receipts and I taped them to a piece of paper so that I could take photocopies of those to send to the client. So that's one way. Now it's a big job. I do the same thing however I keep a binder and I think I had that I think I did a video on that as well if, if I may do another one on it but it was uh, the Under Armour job <laughs> Baltimore is a city that runs on two things hope and hoops games are flooded with fans legends are made and dreams become real here Ball truly is life. Baltimore is home to some of the greatest basketball teams and players of all time. The Baltimore basketball scene launched careers amongst Bose, Will Barton, David Wingate, and Reggie Lewis. And I also did a commercial for a nutrient system where it was pretty big and you needed a binder for this. And I did actually learn this from another stylist um, where you get a ring hole binder and the same piece of paper that you had with your receipts, you would take them to it, but you get the little like um, plastic, where you know how you can put the, I'll put it somewhere up here, but you take the paper and you put it inside that where, that, where the plastic paper has the ring holes so that you can put it in the binder, and it's like a book. So all your receipts are there. And what I did with that, not only did I put the receipts in there, but I also, put the lookbook and photos of different things from the job in there. So the Under Armour job that I did, it was a different series where there were multiple looks. There were a lot of different outfits. I styled the main um, person for, I styled everyone in it. So while styling the main person for this, it was the host of the entire series. His name was Saronis Jackson. I put his outfits like little, not stick figures, but I put screenshots of his outfits and then the next page I put the receipts to match what those looks were. I thought that was so cool. That was the first time I did that but I was like oh this is organized now. That is another way is to have a binder for those major jobs that you have. Now it could even be a smaller job and you want to keep it organized that way as well but those are two ways that are really good to keep track of your receipts um, by literally just having the piece of paper putting the tape on it and you can at the top right okay this was a jacket this was so that when you're because you know when you get receipts and it may be a whole bunch of different things on it and the code on it is so weird that you don't even know what you actually purchased from that store so you can write on the top or on the side of that piece of paper what it was that you actually purchased that's a great way to stay organized and on top of your budget purchases and all those things as well so that is exactly why you guys it's so important to keep your receipts um, especially for budgeting yourself you know and even though I'm talking about receipts I do want to say that it's important to keep the amounts separate so for example I'll do another video on that because that might be a bit more where I talk about why you should separate receiving money from clients like your actual service amount and the budget for shopping why those should be separate um, yeah I'll do a longer video I'll do another video on that because I feel like that is a whole other topic but yes it is so important to keep your receipts stay organized and make your life easier okay I love you guys I'll see you in the next video